This video is sponsored by Adobe. Hi, this is Steffi Hogan with Creative Pro, and today I'm going to show you how to turn your PowerPoint file into a Google Slides file, and then what happens to that file after it's converted. So let's go ahead and get started. Here I already have a PowerPoint file in my Google Drive, and to open it up, I'm just going to double click on it, and it opens it in Google Slides. It may be open in Google Slides, but this is still a PowerPoint file. So how do I change that? Let's go to File and Save as Google Slides. Now, once I do that, this will pull it into an actual Google Slides file. So if we go back to my OneDrive and refresh this, now we have a PowerPoint file here as well as a Google Slides file there. So here we are in Google Slides. Now, some of the things that you need to be aware of when you're converting these files is first of all, uh, you don't have multi columns. Let's say in PowerPoint here in this specific presentation on slide 36, I have a block of text and this is a two column file under my, um, as you can see by my column options here, I go to more columns. It's two columns with the spacing. Okay. So let's see what happened in Google slides to slide 36. Do, do, do. Okay, here we are, slide 36. This is no longer two columns, it is now one column because Google Slides does not support multi-columns, which is a bummer. One thing I do want you to know, if you have previously converted a PowerPoint into a Google Slide, uh, the slide layouts didn't used to have image placeholders. They had text placeholders, but they did not have image placeholders. So I'm going to delete that image off. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should just cut the image off All right now. I will reapply that layout that I have in here. Now we finally do have image placeholders, which is so wonderful. Um, that used to be a huge problem. It isn't anymore. Now, if you have a lot of charts in your data heavy presentations, I mean, if you have any charts at all, this one might hurt a little bit. All right, let's go down here on slide 17. In this presentation, I have two charts on that slide. Now in PowerPoint, let's pop up here. Oops. Here you see we have live charts. I can select the data points and all kinds of stuff um, if I want to edit the data, right? I right click on it. I say edit data and I can just, I can do that right from within PowerPoint. Okay. And now in Google slides, the charts are all static images and they're not live charts anymore. What you need to do then, and I, I am so sorry. What you need to do is then rebuild all of your charts within Google Slides and charts work a little weird. So I want to insert a chart, simple bar chart, but they're all linked, which means if I want to edit it, I have to open the source, which is then in um, the Google, Google spreadsheets, Google Sheets, Google Sheets. And this is where I update stuff, right? So if I wanted to change the color of this to pink, right? That's it. And then I come back to the Google slide stock. It was asked me to update it. Now with fonts, it's a Google product. You've got all of the Google fonts with you. So if you use any custom fonts that are not Google fonts or other, anything else that isn't a Google font is automatically going to be swapped out within your presentation. Animations, they, they don't exist really. There's, there are a few things. Let's just have fun here. We'll go here, select this image and go to animate. You are very limited on what you can do with animations within Google slides. So if you have an animation heavy presentation, you might want to rework it a bit before you pull it into Google slides. Otherwise it, things will be randomly replaced with fades and zooms or nothing at all. 
One thing I do like about Google Slides, I mean, it's top notch for collaboration. You can work a, you know, simultaneously with other people in here. And what I also like is if I want to crop this image, I can just double click on it. I don't have to select it and then right click and say crop or select it and go find it in the menu. I can just double click and here we go. Then I can instantly just start, you know, working with, with that image and how I want it to be cropped. That's a plus, I guess. But overall, if you are expecting Google Slides to match closely what you have in PowerPoint, depending on the way you build your PowerPoints, you'll be sorely disappointed. And you're gonna have to go through and check everything within every presentation and probably rework a lot of stuff, especially if you have data. And now you know how to turn a PowerPoint document into a Google Slide document and a little bit about what happens when you do so. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.